We, the jury, being duly impaneled, find the defendant Michelle R. Schuster guilty of aggravated vehicular homicide. 24 year old Michelle Schuster lost her composure inside the courtroom when 12 jurors decided to hold her <coughs> responsible for the death of 24 year old Amber Brooks. Last April, Schuster was driving impaired when she hit and killed Rooks with her car and seriously injured three utility workers on Cox Road. <laughs> Outside the courtroom, family members, friends and co-workers of the victims were comforted, saying the judicial system did its job. She might be going to jail, but her family can still go see her, talk to her, write to her, see her grow old, she can uh, keep up on family events and all the above. We don't get that. We get to go to a grave site. Blake Patton was in a cherry picker last April and witnessed the deadly crash from up above. He says everyone involved, including Schuster's family, is still dealing with the pain. The utility workers on the side of the road just deserve to have somebody slow down. I mean, we all have families. We all want to go home and eat. We all want to go home and for the next birthday, the next Christmas, everything. Schuster was escorted out of the courtroom by sheriff's deputies, knowing she could possibly spend the next two decades of her life behind bars. Two weeks from today will mark the one year anniversary of this deadly accident. The families involved telling me today they are very happy with this decision and they hope Schuster is put away for a long time. Reporting live in Westchester, Emily Wood, WLWT. News 5.